welcome everybody into our next demonstration for Intercraft. My name is Judy. I'm Judy Hall from Punch with Judy. In this particular session, we're going to virtually be reviewing a new product, Terial Magic Spray. It is a fabric spray starch. It's available in two sizes, and each comes with a little spray unit. Reason for the little cap and the spray unit is because I'll tell you a little true story that when I first saw the product in USA, they had completely sold out, and I was very lucky to have the last one that they reserved to me from the Sunday night, which often you may do at shows here. So I popped it in my suitcase to come home. When I got home, the bowl was empty, and all of my clothes were completely stiff. <laughs> So they now don't sell it like this. It comes with a screw top and you get the spray adapter to go with it. If we're going to be doing anything on a fine fabric, it's very difficult sometimes to sew without puckering. You're all familiar with times when you've got to take up a hem, when you've got to do a buttonhole, when you want to do a scallop edge or machine embroidery. If you are doing a buttonhole on a very fine fabric, what we have done in the past is to place in between some stabilizer to prevent the puckering, which quite often then you get a shadow around it. And the shadow around it is very noticeable. And now we can do the same buttonholes completely without any stabilizer just by spray starching the area where the buttonhole is to go and we have a perfectly flat buttonhole. The Terial Magic Spray Starch will change the colour of the fabric a little so I need to warn you so as you don't freak out and think, oh, I've wrecked my fabric. If it has a sheen to it, such as like a lot of the after five type fabrics, when you then apply the spray starch, that sheen disappears. Don't panic when you wash it, because it is water soluble, it will come back to the original beautiful luster. It is also quite often going to change the color. So we can use it on any type of fabric, anything that's very soft and very difficult to sew. It's going to give it body that you can sew very, very easily without any puckering, without any stabilizer underneath or on top. And you will then have completely beautiful embroidery. This is available for fabrics which usually present a problem with showing or with hooping. Think about fabrics which are stretch. This one particular way in which Terrell Magic Spray is used absolutely sold me that it's worth its weight in gold. If you are going to do some embroidery on a t-shirt, we have also always been told the stretch nature of the t-shirt should not be placed in the hoop. When you apply the spray starch, you can either just spritz it or you can have a bowl and put your fabric or your garment in it and spritz it and then squash it so as it will be distributed beautifully all over. The bowl is really to prevent wastage of it going elsewhere. It's similar to what you would use, say, a cool basting spray in a box in a contained area. But if you just want to spritz just the area, you would not be spritzing the area where you're going to embroider. You'd be spritzing the area of the size of the hooping. Normally, when you have done it, you have a stabiliser on the reverse side, which A, has to be trimmed away, B, can sometimes be a little bit irritable against a sensitive skin, and quite often, the outline stitch has not been completely filled in. Have you ever experienced that problem? Because of the nature of the stretch, you get about three quarters of the way around and by that time the fabric has just given a little bit and then your digitized design goes outside the outline area. So I want to pass this around for you so as you can see exactly what I'm meaning at the top line. Thank you. By placing this in the hoop, 
doing the embroidery. It is completely covered within the outline stitched areas. There is no stabilizer underneath, only the stitching. And I think that this is so amazing that it's worth the product for this one attribute. Do you not agree? Doesn't have to be just a plain flat fabric, it can be a piled fabric. Think about when you are embroidering on a towel. How many times have you had a, a sticky back underneath that is very difficult to come away and it pulls all of the little fibres of the towel? Yes, you are still going to use like a solvey on the top, which we call a topper. So as when machine embroidery is done on the top of the towel, the pile of the towel is not going to um, get in the way of your embroidery. So the solvey on the top is going to give you a nice clear surface. But if you spray the towel with the Terial Magic Spray, you've got nothing underneath. So you've got nothing that needs to be taken away. Remember, it's completely water soluble. So any stiff appearance, then becomes pliable again. So let me show you that. Patchwork fabric. Very soft. Spritz it. Let it dry or iron it to hurry up the process. And you can see there's a bit of body in it. It's not quite as pliable as this, but it's still soft enough that you can stitch through by hand or by machine. So it's okay for machine um, or hand applique. It's also very good for people that do miniature patchwork. All those tiny little fiddly pieces in the patchwork fabric. If that fabric's got a bit of body in it, it's easier to handle and control. And remember, the edges don't fray either, so for a very small seam allowance, you do have beautiful control of your fabrics. A difficult fabric, such as a chiffon. Any time I've wanted to do a hem on that in the past, Instead of trying to hem it, I've done a rolled hem on the overlocker. But if you want to do a scallop or you want to do embroidery on it, you've got no choice but to use a wash away stabilizer. No longer. Spritz it with your Terial Magic Spray. Gives it enough body to then be able to be embroidered as is. Which you can then trim away beautifully I'm pleased I see some eyebrows go up that you oh that's a good idea so coming around here you're able to have full control and see how nice and supple it is that's because it's then being washed out again so you do have a, a better feel a little bit of stiffness but then it's able to be washed out completely it doesn't have to be just a plain fabric it can be um, velvet, velour, your terry, fleecy backed fabric, all of those which present a little bit of problem for the girls who are doing computerised machine embroidery. There's no going out of the um, digitised outlines, you're able to do free motion or automatic um, stitches through it all. So you don't have any restrictions on the type of fabric that it's able to be used with or the process in where it's going to be administered. Some of you may also be starting to have a look at the electronic cutters. The electronic cutters are going to cut out work for you. So as you can make your own little templates from a sheet, it will go through the machine and it will cut out all of your shapes, whether they be for templates or for quilting or for um, applique. You will take your fabric, you will treat it with the bubble jet set, you will then spray starch it with the Terial Magic Spray, iron it and put it through your printer. When you rinse the bubble jet set, making all of that chemical set with a bubble jet rinse, it is also going to, at the same time, wash out the remaining of the Terial Magic Spray. So there's no additional steps other than just spraying it. Initially. It's a very versatile product that has a lot of options whether you are into card making, scrapbooking, machine embroidery, hand applique, patchwork. It's just giving the fabric a bit of body to make it easier to control without any fraying 
and also able to wash out. So it's not going to destroy the nature of the fabric at all. Before and after, can you see on the satin, on the one in my left hand, there's a little bit of puckering. On the right hand one, done with the Terrell Magic Spray, there is no puckering whatsoever. If you are going to have it out in the elements, once you have it as such, just use some Scotch Guard and that will protect it and keep it in the shape that you want because you can iron this and curl it and you can shape it into whatever form that you want. And then if you Scotch Guard it, it doesn't matter if you get caught in the rain. When you're making the flowers, we use florist wire, which we have in different sizes, the different gauges. So as if you're going to be doing any of these, we just folded this for transporting. You're able to have the fabric come over the forest wire. I've got a makeshift vase here, just a bottle. You could have a vase. And so if you want to have a floral arrangement, have this a little bit longer, you can have such. Or if you're going to be putting one of these into it as well. So, as you can see, it can be for home decorating as well. Do you agree how fabulous it is?